A shocking admission from the man serving a life sentence for killing 10-year-old Jeffrey Curley. As WBZ's Bill Shields reports, at the same hearing where Charles Jaynes asked for parole, he admitted for the first time that he did it. This is Charles Jaynes in 1997. He and a friend kidnapped 10-year-old Jeffrey Curley near the boy's home in Cambridge. They sexually assaulted him. Then Jaynes suffocated the boy with a rag soaked in gasoline. Police later found his body in a main river. The real child James is the devil. That's the face of the devil right there, James. Today, 23 years later, Charles James was asking to be released from prison. He took away a big piece of my heart. He took my little me. He changed all our lives ever. That day, more than you could ever imagine. I will never have another happy day. My heart is broken. Both James and Salvatore Sicari were convicted of murder and both sentenced to life. Today, James was asking the parole board to release him. They'll decide in the weeks to come. This murder was so troublesome to the public that in the months after James and Sicari were convicted, the legislature came within one vote of reinstituting the death penalty. I'm Bill Shields, WBZ News.